Hi, I'm Kathy Adams, and I'm here on behalf of Tattered Angels to talk to you about high-impact paints. High-impact paints were specifically designed to paint on burlap. Um, burlap is a difficult painting surface because it is porous and it is loosely woven. So um, a more watery medium like sprays or um, watercolors are difficult to use on burlap. So Tattered Angels came out with a thicker type of paint which they call high impact paints. Uh, if you wanted to find out more about high impact paints you can go on to the Canvas Corp website and you will find that there are 29 colors of these unique paints and I'm going to show you some different things that you can do on burlap today using high impact paints. I have a couple of the colors and um, what I like to do um, when I want to get to know a product is I use my I have an art journal and since I am on the design team I have quite a few of their products and in order to get to know them better I like to put them on um, play around with them in my art journal and I have an inventory of all the different colors I have of all the different types of paint and these are the uh, high impact paints that I have uh, I've got olive antique gold um, hot pink and then I have um, like a starter kit uh, with the primary colors and white. So with with these colors I can make any color imaginable by mixing. And they have more burlap. <laughs> they have 29 pages of burlap products that come in different sizes, colors. Um, they also have these mix and match pads where you get a piece of burlap in there along with some other things. Because of the loose weave of burlap, it's hard to get details when you're painting. So when I'm deciding on a stamp, or I'm deciding on a stencil, I want a stencil that has a lot of open space. Something like this, you're not gonna get a lot of detail out of. Um, so, and then a stamp, with a lot of flat surface, a lot of surface space. gel press plate and I put red and, and blue on to make a dark color. I have a lot on there. I have quite a bit on there. I want to ink up my stamp a lot. Very juicy. I decided to try art foamies because foam stamps are great with uh, for stamping with paint and because they generally do are not super detailed so I thought that would work really really well on the burlap and so I painted some burlap first with some white paint and now I'm using my gel plate to ink up the uh, the art foamy stamp and I want to use two different colors. I'm using pink on the top part and then I'm going to use the, um, the olive and I'm going to just paint that onto the bottom part. I 
I used my gel press petite uh, small shapes and I mounted the triangle onto an acrylic block and I'm adding some blue high impact paint and then I'm just going to brayer it so that it's smooth on and it covers the entire triangle. And then I'm going to use it as a stamp and stamp it onto the burlap. I did this one with the round plate and the red. Now, what do you do with this? Well, here's what I did. I did sewing with embroidery thread and I put a few beads in the middle and you can use it as a, a um, an embellishment for something. Next I experimented with layering some paint and other mediums. I was testing out some colors and realized that the olive High impact paint was a little too dark for what I wanted, so I added some white and I'm applying it with a burl with a brayer. And I really like using the brayer because it really gives me a nice thin layer of paint. So once that dried, I decided to try Glimmer Mist and I took my favorite color, Dragonfly, which is a blue, and I sprayed it on to the burlap and it basically changed the color. Once that layer dried, then I decided I wanted to stamp using yellow and red high impact paints and one of my Art Foamy stamps. Mm -hmm. 